Welcome to Journal of Arthroscopy, February issue for 2015. There's 16 original articles, one meta-analysis, seven systematic reviews. Of the 16 original articles, five of the articles pertain to topics of the shoulder, five of the articles pertain to topics of hip arthroscopy, and six of the articles pertain to, to topics of the knee. In a meta-analysis, it's not only a meta-analysis, but it's also a meta-regression, looking at the outcomes of rotator cuff repair with and without PRP. A meta-analysis and meta-regression is a more effective way of predicting the effects of moderate variables than meta-analysis alone. Please see the editorial by Dr. Jim Lewitz for more details on this. In the systematic reviews, I, one of the articles looked at allograft versus autograft in ACL reconstructions. Another examines femoral acetabular impingement in scaled immature patients. A third looks at the sensitivity of radiographs to detect knee arthritis, while a fourth looks at arthroscopy, arthroscopy versus open stabilization in anterior glenohumeral instability. In the original articles on the topic of the shoulder, one of the articles looks at functional gains of rotated cuff repair in patients greater than 70 years old versus those less than 50 years old. Another article looks at the trans-subscapularis portal versus the low anterior portal for placement of the low anchor in glenohumeral instability procedures. Another one looks at the accuracy of palpation for intra-articular glenohumeral injections. Another one looks at glenohumeral arthroscopy and how it does not fully evaluate the biceps labral complex. The last two articles have videos which complement the, the, the manuscript nicely. In topics of the knee, one of the articles looks at the new technique for all inside repair of radial tears of the meniscus. Another article looks at the efficacy of MRI to predict meniscal tears in patients with and without ACL tears. A third article it looks at imaging studies to evaluate tunnel-related complications in the sagittal planes in the transporter technique for femoral tunnel placement. In the topics of the hip, one of the articles looks at hip arthroscopy in patients greater than 50 years old versus those less than 30 years old. Another article looks at the outcomes of arthroscopic treatment of the deformity after slip capital femoral epiphysis. This article also has a video that complements the manuscript nicely. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy reading this issue.